to another level. How would you describe the the work you've been putting in against Ben Allen and the type of player that he is? Oh man, we compete every day. Like, every day is to the max. Um, you know, he's a great guy, he's a great great player. So uh, every day is to the max. Do you feel any pressure to kind of step into a more prominent role this season with with Baycott gone and knowing any production from from your spot? I mean, not really. With, I mean, with the work I'm putting in, um, I'm pretty confident. Um, so every day I'm just you know. Uh, just going hard, just as hard as possible, and you know, just having the confidence, um, yeah, relying on my work. Have you, you been in touch with Armando? Uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, we don't talk a whole lot, but you know, yeah. here and there, you know, when he'll pop up, come in town, we'll talk a little bit. Yeah. What are y'all talking about? Uh, not basketball. Okay, cool. <laughs> Do you feel about as healthy as you felt since the injury in high school? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. That's uh, I'm a junior in college now. I know a lot of people always ask. Uh, about my knees, um, but you know that's behind me, and you know I feel great. How the off season, this off season in particular, look different for you, Chad? Uh, just another year being you know fully healthy, um, just really um, taking every day like uh, one day at a time, and just every day I'm just um, just trying to be really intense with, with what I'm doing and being uh, really intentional. Coach Davis described you as adorable <laughs> off the court. <laughs> I had, I mean, he doesn't want you to be that way on the court, obviously. Yeah. How do you bring that nastiness that's required for what you have to do on the uh, inside? Man, I would say, like, the the biggest thing was just be, like, um, like everything, like, uh, dealing with, like, conditioning. So just being in the best shape possible to be able to, you know, give that energy and then just bring out that competitive energy. Because, you know, once you once you get past, you know, being tired and all that, you can really fall in, in love with, with playing in the game. And uh, that's when, like, my competitive spirit comes out the most. Just off that really quick, I mean, what's your reaction to your coach calling you adorable? That's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. Has he used that? Has he told you that? He's never told me I'm okay. I'm adorable before, but he's always told me he wants me to bring, like, that grit out when I play on the court. In the offseason, what physically we try to improve on, not just body-wise, but anything else like agility or strength Yeah, or definitely uh, quickness, you know, lateral quickness, just agility, uh, just moving quicker, just being able to jump higher, everything like that. Just uh, overall improvement all around. What about the weight room? Yeah, just being stronger. Yeah, I definitely feel stronger compared to, you know, this time last year. So I feel like I made a, a huge jump. You were gaining weight or anything? Yeah, yeah. So I'm about like 235 right now. I'm not really sure what I was. Uh, 230 last year? Maybe? Yeah, I was probably about like 230, maybe a little bit less. Tell me a little bit about, I know that, you know, Hubert was telling us he's really emphasizing the speed at which you play. Mm -hmm. You know, he wants you guys to be fastest UNC team ever, fastest team in the country. What does that actually look like in terms of maybe anything you're doing differently in practice? Man, just really um, running the floor hard, uh, getting the ball out quick, you know, just moving quicker, making the, read, the right reads. Um, you know, whether it's like a DHO or I'm pitching or something like that, you're just really making the right reads and making it quicker. So, you know, flowing into the game a lot faster than, than we had before. Right, making the right reads, doing everything faster. How does that work when you have so many new teammates that you're trying to mesh with? Um, just reps, a lot of reps, communication, the uh, biggest thing. Um, just talking it out, just, you know, it's basketball. You, you practice basketball every day, you're going to get better at basketball every day. So I feel like the more that we, we practice and we get used to playing with each other, the better it will be. Who do you think is the fastest guy on the team? The fastest guy on the team? Uh, that's a tough one because we got a lot of fast guys. Seth is probably, I would say Seth probably be the fastest. Uh, Ellie is really fast. RJ is pretty fast. Ian is really fast with the ball in his hands as well. So we got a lot of fast guys. I, I might got to see him race. Fastest big guy? Fastest big guy, I'll, I'll say me. <laughs> Jill, how are you feeling physically? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling refreshed, ready to practice today. Is that a difference compared to maybe some of the, especially your first summer, but yeah, last definitely. summer too, what has that enabled you to do more of? Just be a lot more active. Uh, you know, go out, rebound, you know, defend better. Um, just be in the, uh, play both sides of the, the, the ball a lot better. And apologies if you've been asked, but like mentally, how did you sort of approach this summer knowing Armando's gone and the opportunity that's there for you? Just got to get to it. Um, he ain't going to come back. <laughs> Nobody else going to uh, come in and save us. So um, I just got to come up and, and, and be willing to, to get better and make a whole a lot bigger jump if I want to be able to step into that role. Do you, feel like, do you feel like they have more eyes on you, like on campus or in the locker room this year? Honestly, I don't know. I don't. Really, I haven't really paid attention. I know people are always going to watch regardless, just because we yeah. are on the best ball team. So I'm not really yeah. counting how many people are watching me. Just you know, kind of. Are you feeling more pressure? Nah, nah, not at all. Who has been? I mean, I know that everybody has, you know, maybe that one assistant coach, one trainer that like they really work closely with. Mm -hmm. who, who is that for you? Sean May, uh, Pat Sullivan. Um, Sean May was the guy who recruited me. 
um, Indiana guy. You know, I've always had a close relationship with him uh, since my freshman year. So he's always some guy I can just uh, just really trust and be honest with me. Pat Sullivan as well. You know, just breaking down film, talking to him in practice. Just, just honest guys. You know, I know I'm going uh, to get the truth out of, and they're going to help me get better day to day. What was what was their honest feedback for you, like at the start of the summer, in terms of telling you what what they liked, where you were at, what they wanted you to work on over the summer? Um, really, just like get as strong as possible, you know, uh, work on my conditioning. You look like you and, have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you know just you know just uh, take every day, um, one day at a time, and just really get better, maximize every day. Who surprised you on the team? Like work ethic, improvement. Man, we got a whole lot of guys. There's really too many to name. Um, all the veteran guys, Jay Witt, Seth. RJ, uh, Elliot, those are guys that, you know, are everyday guys, uh, even our new guys, the walk-ons, from the walk-ons to the freshmen, everybody's just like an everyday guy. So, you know, coming in at random times of the day and seeing everybody put in work is just really, it's not really surprising, but, you know, that's the culture that we got here. What are the metrics uh, of you getting bigger and stronger? Poundage, and lifting, and so forth. Can you talk about that? Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more? Uh, like, how much could you press before, and how when you came in, and how, how much you do now? How much, I mean, I'm sure you, you weigh now before you. Uh, well, I, I weighed like 235 now. I weigh probably about like 230, maybe a little bit less last year. Mm -hmm. As far as like you know, all the weight that I'm moving, you might got to go as Jonas Serration about that. Well, how do you, you feel, feel stronger? I, yeah, I definitely feel stronger. Okay. Yeah. Now, are you playing stronger? Yeah, 100. Yeah. percent Jalen, you obviously have the face-up game. We've seen that the past mm. couple of years. Uh, Armando is back for a little bit this summer, working with Big Sean. They're much more familiar in the post. How much have they sort of helped you in terms of feeling comfortable there, your moves there, your counters? How much have you grown in that respect? This yeah, summer? so we, we work pretty much every day just on post moves, uh, even in practice, um, just like on our skill work. And it's one of them things we just got to go out there and do. So we've been doing a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one and even like while we're playing five-on-five, -five, it's just like one of the focuses is be able to fight and be able to compete when you're in the post.